it's Jackie and today I wanted to show you my new art journal. This is my first like real grown-up art journal. <laughs> so I'm pretty excited to work in it. Um, so I made this following a tutorial um, on YouTube by Genevieve Designs and I'm going to link to it below and I absolutely love it. If you don't have an art journal, go make this one. Don't go buy one because this is amazing. Um, basically it's just made out of a cereal box and um, something I did different from her, she used the full width of the cereal box. I cut it in half and I overlapped it so this is now two layers of cereal box and it's half as thick because I, I only had enough paper to do three signatures. So this is made with Strathmore and Mixed Media paper, uh, the yellow pad, I think it's 300 series. And all you really do is just paint the back of the cereal box. I painted mine blue and pink and then I just put some tissue paper, some Tim Holtz tissue paper over the front and um, hit it with a little bit of gesso on top and it's um, a gel medium to seal it in and it feels plasticky and really nice and really sturdy but not too thick. So I love it. The signatures are just sewn in. I think it's a pamphlet stitch and the I already did one page so I thought I'd show that to you. The inside covers I just lined them with a, some jelly prints that I did. Um, a couple of weeks ago I did like a jelly plate printing session. So I just put a couple of those in here and um, and then I did my first page. I just did like a blue background. I had this um, Spellbinders die. It was birds on a wire that I wanted to use so I just kind of worked around that. I um, used a Tim Holtz stencil and some Heidi Swap gold texture paste to do the kind of the sunshine there. I cut up some book pages and colored them with Copic markers. Like I should have just used paint but I didn't have any gray paint so I used markers. Um, to get make them gray and I did use a crafters workshop stencil and some black texture paste here. Stamped a little quote from Pinterest and then I cut out some hearts that I painted red and glossy accented them and I think for my first page it's pretty good. So I'm really looking forward to getting into some mixed media art journaling. So when I have a few more pages done I'll do another flip through for you. But um, yeah I'm just really excited to work in this book. It's not something I feel brave trying art. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching.